the Bee Orchid Tour 2022. The World Tour of Bee Orchids in Peterborough 2022. Uh, I always do this a little bit tongue in cheek because we don't really have many bee orchid sites as such in Peterborough. When we've got sites where they've grown uh, and there's sites where there's usually one or two but um, we haven't had a really decent bee orchid site here for some time now and uh, uh, but I still go out every year on this tour. Uh, I've got about three sites in mind I'm not going to go any further than that. Uh, where I'm hopeful of finding bee orchids at all of them. Uh, probably shouldn't put an S on there, on the end of that one. It could be bee orchid at each of them, but that's what I'm going to do. Let's go and have a look and uh, see what we can find. I like bee orchids, so uh, yeah, I'm easily pleased. Uh, we're starting off at uh, Dogsthorpe Star Pit. Um, we usually visit the roadside verge here where there used to be a really good bee colony. Uh, last couple of years has been like one or two because it got mowed down three years was it ago uh, and it struggled to recover um, I've been tipped off about oh three four months ago that it was mowed again in spring so we may not find anything at the verge I've actually dropped down into the uh, the reserve itself first of all because it always looks good it always looks good for all kids it's scratchy soil it just kind of yeah, it's, it's the sort of site you would expect to find bee orchids and it seems to struggle to establish itself as an orchid location. Maybe I'm just impatient and it's going to take, you know, a decade or more, I don't know. It always looks good, but I can't say I've ever seen a bee orchid actually inside the reserve. But I'm here to try and break that um, tradition and see if I can find one. If I was creating a backdrop for bee orchids, this would be it. It just seems their sort of place. It's kind of very short, scratchy, stubbly ground. Um, you just expect to see bee orchids here. But like I said, I can't ever remember seeing one. I found a bee orchid. Blimey. There you go, Dogstop Star Pit Bee Orchid. Pleasantly surprised. Three flowers on it. And one bud to come. As I always say, when you get down low on the ground, have a good look around. Because there's a second one. That's a nicely marked one as well. Looks like two buds still to come. This is getting good now. I found uh, a bit of a patch here. I think I can see about five. Uh, this is number three. Number four. A little bit tangled up in a spider's web that one, so I won't disturb it. That's number five. Number six. There's number seven. There's another little one next to it. I can't even really see the back of it. There's number eight. And then at the back here. Number 
number nine. It doesn't end there because there's another one. Number ten. It's quite a lot in bud on this one. I've given up counting now, we're up to about 15. Well there you go, what do I know? I counted about 16 or 17, I probably missed a couple. Uh, that's almost a colony, just inside the entrance to Dogsthorpe Star Pit. Should be keeping an eye on that one in years to come because there's plenty of scope here for that to expand, so that's a good start. Yeah, happy with that, Dogsthorpe Star Pit. Let's go and have a look at the roadside birds. That might sort of uh, bring us down to earth with a bang. <coughs> yeah, it looks like the verge hasn't been trimmed recently, but it looks like it may have been done as was well tipped off earlier in the year. So, yeah, there could still be something in here. This used to have huge numbers. I'm not sure we'll ever see those days again. One will do, come on. Yeah, we got one. There she is. Might be the only one here. I just, just say that. I always say the same thing. As soon as you get down here, you see another one. There's one in the background, the immediate background, right next to it. And there's another one in direct line further back. Hold on. That's at least three here. This one's standing isolated all on its own, very exposed. I suspect being on the edge of the verge, it probably just missed the mower. I think it's three on the verge. Probably three more than I feared there might be here, plus 17 or so in the reserve. I only looked in the entrance, there may be other sites, I don't know. Uh, but that's 20, that's a pretty good start for the first uh, site visit. Um, right, we're off towards Glinton now, where there was a few growing in a new site um, last season. Hopefully they've kicked on. Um, but yeah, good start for Dogsthorpe Star Pit. And I shall see you in a mo. Linton, uh, a nicely managed grass verge uh, bee orchids last season. Uh, this is season two, so there's hopefully going to be even more bee orchids here. I think this verge was managed by a local group of uh, individuals. I, I, I don't know exactly who, whoever it is, uh, is doing a good job. Uh, last year it produced half a dozen uh, decent bee orchids and as I said it was that was season one so season two can go one of two ways it can either die out or kick on I think it's going to kick on because I bumped into some already There's a the second one.
there's a lovely cluster of uh, three or four bee orchids on top of one another. Very nice. Yeah, good, very good. About 17 or 18 plants, uh, probably six or seven last year. So that's really kicked on well in season two and scope to spread further because they've took the verge further down the road now. So nothing in those um, sections yet, but yeah, this could grow into something pretty big. So fingers crossed, hope they keep looking after it, doing a cracking job so far. Um, and yeah, good to see, well done Glinton. Even got bee orchids growing on the bank by the roadside. Sturdy beasts. And another one down there. Certainly doing well. Holy sh you are kidding me. You are kidding me. Oh my. I've wanted to see one of these for years. A white form of the bee orchid. I forget the name of it now. I should look it up when I get it back and put it on the bottom of the screen. It's a known variant, but that is absolutely fantastic. That is a clonker. An absolute clonker. Peterborough and Glinton has its own white variant of the bee orchid. That is awesome. I am just completely gobsmacked and I nearly missed it. Absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. Would never have dreamt of seeing that here. Absolutely brilliant. Always wanted to see one. And there it is. Well done, Glinton. Brilliant. Off to Swaddy Well now. Welcome to Swaddy Well Pit. Uh, I said I'd come back 10 days ago to have a look at this exciting new uh, bee orchid site. I'm sure it's going to be good. They can't have vanished, so there should be more in flower than they were 10 days ago. There's another couple of places here where I've seen bee orchid plants earlier in the season. No flowers, but as long as they flowered, uh, they will be new sites as well, at least new to me. So it uh, should be good here, expecting much of Swaddywell Pit. For those of you that have come down here and not found this new site, uh, basically as soon as you go through the gate, straight on down the path, past these brown patches, in the distance there, just right of centre, you've got those reeds, light coloured reeds, uh, that is pretty much opposite there. Go left, go left um, into what is a sort of dirty, scratchy brownfield site, the sort of thing bee orchids love. And uh, you'll be on the site, and uh, if you're lucky and you're down in the next few days, uh, you'll be in for a treat, I'm sure. Lots of little bee orchids down here. It was a bit worrying to see um, that. And that. 
those are bee orchid plants where the flowers have been nipped off by the rabbits and it was the rabbits that pretty much destroyed the colony on the upper field as well but that's not a sign of things to come Quite a big, uh, substantial group. I don't know if you can see these on the camera as well as I can see them. I mean, I'm not even going to count these. There must be 15 in front of me alone. Great to see a little col colony like this. It's quite a big colony, but a nice little patch within it. I've just gone round the back of this patch because... Uh, short distance away there's another patch in fact they're all around me everywhere the orchids fantastic uh, when I get home I am definitely going to be looking at my calendar because I'm pretty damn sure it isn't my birthday today but we've now come down Swaddywell and found another bee orchid variant. This is the Belgarum form, I know that, because there's one of these up at Bloody Oaks. And I didn't recognise it when I was up there until I got home and saw the video. But it's, this, this is a young one, but this is, this is a variety Belgarum. And that is fantastic. To go, what, 20 minutes away from seeing that white form, which I think is called Chlorantha but you'll know by now because you'll have seen it on a video. Uh, but this is Belgarum. It's lovely. Okay, this is getting a bit silly now. I've only moved six foot from that Belgarum and there's another Belgarum. A bit more mature, a bit more colourful. That's two uh, Belgarum variants within six foot, five foot. That is amazing. <laughs> Fantastic. You know, I thought, I thought last year and, and verified earlier this year, this site was going to be special and it is special. It really is. They're young plants, you know, I mean, they weren't here two years ago. Um, and where they go from here, I don't know. I am worried about the, uh, nipped off plants i mean counts wise there's at least 120 i would say that are in flower down here there's probably as many as 25 30 that i've saw that i've seen sorry that have been nipped off by rabbits um it happened on the upper field and we lost a lot uh, to rabbits i'm not saying dead rabbits were the sole reason but it certainly didn't help the cause so hopefully that doesn't get worse um next season i mean fairness most of them are in flower um it's fantastic. To, I mean, to see one Belgarum would have been fantastic. Just to see two within six foot. And, you know, I wouldn't rule out there's, there's possibly more. Um, you know, I've got to the point where I was at once for now where I'm ignoring bee orchids because I'm looking for variants. <laughs> you know, I'm kind of expecting the rarest of the rarest to be uh, here. And they may well be. Um, but I'm going to call it a day for this uh, particular site. It, it, it lives up to expectations. It's brilliant. And... and you know, if you like your bee orchids, as I always say, get down here. You're probably not going to see a better site than this, other than here, if it continues to grow. Um, you're not going to find better than this uh, in, in the Peterborough area. As I said, it would be the case. This, this is the top bee orchid site now that I know of. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. I'm gobsmacked. 
just heading off we're just sort of moving into the top field now I thought it was here that I saw these big orchids um, a couple of weeks back I might have missed them No, up there. Oh, is that them? Yeah, yeah, we're okay. I mean, these may have been here in previous seasons. I, I've, I've just never seen them here. Did I even look to see if they were here? I, I, I probably didn't, but I, might, I would have thought I would have noticed them. I uh, can see a few more in front of me. There's about a dozen in this patch. No variants, but there you go. Can't be too greedy. I've moved up to the top end of the field, the old spiritual home of the Bjorkid colony here. I mean, they're still here in small numbers. But my advice from what I've seen today is don't worry about trawling what was always considered the place here for bee orchids. They're actually all over the field and there's a lot of them. Just have a wander. That's it, I think. Uh, bee orchid overload, if there is such a thing. Uh, that's a cracking, cracking trip. I never expected this. I had low expectations today, but I was bored and I wanted to get out, so... I thought I'd try my luck. If I'd have seen half a dozen at each site, I'd have probably been happy. Um, to see that, uh, that white form, that's, I mean, I shouldn't say this, but you know, when we do a top 25 or whatever of the year, um, over winter, you know, number one's just gone. You know, you, I'm not gonna beat that. I'm not gonna see a better orchid. Uh, and to see it in my own backyard, I, that is just amazing. And then to back it up with a couple of Belgarum uh, here at Swaddywell, you know, that is just crazy stuff. Absolutely crazy stuff. Uh, and I think Swaddywell, uh, for me personally, and it might be my failing here, has kind of reinvented itself um, based on this trip. Um, I, I always saw it as a sort of, as far as bee orchids are concerned, a sort of dying site that was once great. Um, you know, it's going to be great again. Uh, in fact, it already is borderline great now. That colony down um, by the pond on the lower level is superb and it's, it's likely to get better. Um, and they are dotted around the upper field as well. I, the mistake I probably have always made is I've, uh, I've always just searched this area at the top here because this is where they once were in big numbers and they aren't here in big numbers anymore. They're still here, but if you want big numbers, they're down the bottom now. But also if you just wander across the field towards the bottom end, but across the actual top field towards it, they're dotted around in little groups of 10, 15, 20 within a sort of square metre. Um, so numbers are pretty huge if you were to add them up. So yeah, um, thoroughly enjoyed that trip, did not expect it. An absolute birthday bonus. It's not my birthday, by the way, I'm just saying. Um, but yeah, it just feels like it is an absolutely great trip. It's all, it's all gone well. Um, I'm still looking at the ground because I'm kind of thinking of something. On this form, something dramatic is going to appear. Uh, all I can see is millions of pyramidal orchids. So they're going to be a big, big show later in the year. But that's it for bee orchids and the bee orchid tour of 2022. Will it ever get better? <laughs>